You guys know what I forgot? I can't believe I forgot this. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be doing this look, my everyday makeup look. It's a very natural look, I think, anyways. And by popular demand, everyone has been asking me to do it. They've also been asking, you guys have been asking me, like, what mascaras I use, what contours I use, what lipsticks I use. So I'm giving the people what they want. I'm doing my first ever makeup tutorial. I guess you can call it a tutorial. I'm showing you how I do it. I'm not a makeup guru. I mean, I love makeup, but I'm not a makeup artist in any way, shape, or form. So bear with me for the way that I do it. I've never really even watched a makeup tutorial. Um, everything that I know and I've learned throughout the years is just from getting my makeup done from makeup artists, going on shoots and asking them questions. So that's kind of how I learned to do my makeup. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you guys like this video and if you guys wanna see more of this stuff. So I'm going to attempt to do this look right now. So let's hop right into it. This is the first time I've ever filmed anything like this. So be patient with me. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just had a lot of requests on how I do my makeup every day. So here's that day. I'm giving it to you guys. So bear with me. I'm going to walk you through the process. Everyone does their makeup differently. So this is just how I do it. And hopefully you guys can try it out. If it works for you, send me a photo. I'd love to see it. But yeah, let's get started. So first I use this. You guys are going to have to bear with me because I bite my nails so bad to the point where it's even painful to even look at them. So I apologize now. Just don't just just ignore it, okay? This is what I use for my primer. I'm pretty sure that's how the, the makeup gurus do it. Gurus. Gurus. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. So this is what I use, and I put it all over my face. <laughs> Literally scared the shit out of me. Okay, so I put a good amount on my face. And I have big pores, so this helps minimize my pores and kind of just like make my makeup go on evenly, smoothly. You don't see as much as my big pores and it kind of keeps it from being greasy halfway through all the day. So I literally put that all over. I should have grabbed a napkin before I first started. I'm just gonna wipe it off my shirt. After that, I then put on my foundation. There's a lot of foundations that I love, but for the one that I've noticed that I've kind of stuck to for right now is the Giorgio Armani um, full coverage. This is 6.5 in color. Although it kind of sucks because I tan sometimes, so it doesn't always stay my color, but I'm gonna use it today. So I use this brush. It's just a Sephora brush, like foundation brush, and I put it all over my face. Um, most people kind of use a beauty blender for their foundation. I don't, I just have never really seen it work for me. So I just do it all over my face, blend it in. You have to get your neck too, because the worst is when you see someone's line on their neck. So I put some on my neck as well. All under and around my nose. So now right now I have like from here down for the most part, blend it into your ear and also into your hairline. So it all kind of just blends. And I kind of go in circles too. And I like my whole face covered, so I even cover my eyelids. Make sure it's kind of all dispersed evenly. Next, I have been using the new Fenty Beauty highlighter stick. This one is linen for the color, and I love this because it makes gives me a real like dimension in my face by making it really bright in the middle, and that's kind of where you all want the brightness to be. It just kind of you know illuminates your skin. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm using the right terminology, but bear with me i put it everywhere i want it to be lighter on my skin so i put it in the triangle like down and over so if you look my cheekbone is right around here that's where i want to kind of line it up with on both sides and then i put it down my nose and up on my middle of my forehead but literally like a dot there like a dot right there i want the whole middle of your face to just be bright. Then that's when I go in with my beauty blender. Normally it's not clean, but I knew that I was gonna do a video for you guys, so I cleaned it so I don't look like a complete disgusting slob. So I get it wet to a point where I squeeze everything out so it's pretty damp right now. And then I don't really wipe it, I just kind of pat it into place because it's already in the place that I want it to be. I just dab until 
it's blended. Voila! Next! This is by far my favorite contour kit. I've used this probably since they came out and I have yet to switch to another contour kit because it is amazing. In fact, I've turned a lot of friends to it. It's just the Kat Von D contour, amazing. And what's cool about it now is that whenever you like run out of a shade, you can just pop it out and order that shade and just pop it in a new one so you don't have to buy a whole new kit. So on top of this highlighter, I'm actually gonna put a another highlighter on. I'm gonna use the banana in the middle just to kind of like set it and then blend it a little bit. Now I'm all nice and bright. <laughs> Next what I'm gonna do is I'm using the Marc Jacobs. It's like a brush set. It's actually technically supposed to be for your eyes, um, but I use this one for banana powder. I use this for like three different things. It's like the longer one that's like more bristly. But I use this for the banana powder and the highlight. And then I'm also gonna use it for the contour on my nose. So I'm gonna go in and use the lighter shade right here for my nose. And I put a little bit on. This is Mark's least favorite thing because I sit there in the mirror and I just go and I blow on my brush every single time. It's just so all that excess powder you don't get on your face because I try to use this as like my everyday makeup look where it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Wow, I just hit the table. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put it on the side of my nose right here. I'm gonna do the same on the other side like that. And for the longest time, I would just do that. And then I realized that some people have this like cute little like round nose. I don't know how to explain it. So recently I've been kind of making like a circle with the contour around my, like the tip of my nose. And it kind of just gives it like that nose like nose. I don't really know what it's called. So I just kind of go around underneath like this and I kind of just do a circle around my nose. Very lightly. Like very, very, very lightly. I'm going to now blend it because you don't want lines on your face. So I'm just going to kind of dab that. I almost don't want to put that in because I'm so ashamed of myself right now. There's that. I have a cute little butt nose. Now I'm going to go in. You guys, I live and breathe and die for this brush. It is my favorite brush and I am so sad because I went into Sephora the other day to buy a new one and I'm pretty sure it is now discontinued. So I'm going to have to find a new contour brush, but this is my ultimate ultimate favorite um it's a bobby brown brush they are now brown originally it was all white bristles um this is what i used to contour and it's my ultimate favorite so i'm gonna go in with this one a little bit of this and a little bit of this blow it i start up here go down so you're gonna do this whole side around your cheekbones and then i also do right here and around the cheekbone um, so this is how I do start it. Start here. I do each side first. Go up on the cheekbone. I start right here. Make sure you guys brush it into your scalp. Literally into your scalp. Like that. I swear, if he does that while I do my eyebrows, I might lose my So that was just the contour. I You also have to do a bronzer. So the middle one, I was told, is more of like the bronzer. These two are more of the contour. So I do a little bit of that. And I kind of just go above what I did on the contour for my cheek. Kind of just revisit this a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of just do that. I don't know. Blend it. Literally just dab. I know it kind of just all mixes together. And you don't have like any lines. I kind of just go over just to make sure I'm tan in spots that I kind of want to be tan in. Not bad. This is not what I do. So be patient with me, guys. I've also never watched a makeup tutorial, so I don't really know how it's done or what they do. This is just for me getting my makeup done so many times on shoots and me constantly asking makeup artists different questions. I've kind of taken their knowledge and used it to my benefit on how I do my makeup. So yeah, be patient with you guys. Okay, so then I do my blush. Okay, so I use the Marc Jacobs again. Marc Jacobs blush brush. Blush brush, blush brush. That is a tongue twister. So this is the one that I use. It's kind of like at a slant. And I use Tarte for my blush. It is <laughs> birthday with three E's, cause you know, you can't have a party without three E's. <laughs> Said no one ever, but apparently Tar did. So I just do a little bit of that, blow the brush, 
and I go right here on my cheeks and I kind of blend it in. And the like, most common thing to do is to smile and then you get like your cheeks. It's like that awkward like mom's making you smile so I'm gonna smile but I really don't want to smile. Uh, so that's kind of the smile you do. You get your cheekbones right there. And I kind of just follow it up. I honestly just use the rest of the brush and I kind of go in between where my contour and my highlight was. And I kind of just use the rest of it there. And I kind of do a little bit on my cheeks. Why? I don't know. I just is a habit. There's really nothing left on the brush so you don't, you don't see pink on your forehead. I love this color because I love, love, love using like coral like colors. Especially for blue eyes. I just feel like it really brings out our eyes. That's why I like it. And then I kind of just blend it in again. The key is to blend, blend, blend because you don't want streaks, guys. That's out of the way. What next? What next? What next? What next? Highlighter. I use ColourPop. It is massively dirty because I put all of this into one little bag and all of my makeup spills sometimes. It comes in two colors. I only use the highlighter. I don't really use this one. This is more of like an orangey tan for me. It's not my personal favorite, but their highlighter is out of this world amazing. It's I've tried so many different highlighters. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't look like it has a color palette name on it, but they have tons of different ones like this and all of the highlighters are really great. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the banana and the contour on my nose. It is the Marc Jacob one. And I'm gonna do a little bit on just the tip of my nose. Just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna do it again, and it's almost, my girlfriend Sammy taught me this, just to kind of do like an exclamation mark on your nose. So you do the tip, which is the dot on the exclamation mark, and then a line right here. That's all I do. One line right here, space, and then on the tip. Pretty simple. Then I take just a regular e.l.f. brush. Probably costs only a dollar at like your local Target or Walmart or um, Walgreens, wherever it is that you get it. I don't really know. I get mine at Target. And again, this is supposed to be white, but it's not because I haven't really cleaned my brushes, which is a must. You should clean your brushes. So take it again, just dab it. <laughs> I swear every time I say dab it. I don't rub, I just dab again on the same side. Again with the fucking dab. That all around your cheekbone right there. Wow, you guys, so a lot of you guys have asked me to do makeup tutorials. I'm gonna watch this back and be like, wow, I had no idea what I was talking about just because I want to try and do more I've been getting like massive amounts of makeup sent to me so I'm gonna do a whole makeup tutorial on just certain products from certain brands that they send me this is just what I have right now and what I use on a daily so I'm really excited to be able to test out other makeup brands and see kind of how they are on my face just because makeup is so expensive so it's cool that I'll get to try them out and whatnot so I'm thinking like on my 50th one I'm gonna look back at this and be like Wow, bitch, I had no idea what I was talking about. So highlighter is done. Next is brows. So if you guys know anything about me, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my eyebrows. Like literally a perfectionist. They have to be perfect and I spend more time on my eyebrows and my eyelashes than I do anything else on my face. Just because I feel like those are the most important thing when you look at someone's face, you see their eyebrows and their eyelashes for me. I bought this so long ago. It's a Kelly Baker brow set. One comes with the, I think it's just to like, like highlight your brow. And then this is the actual brow pencil. It's cool because it comes with this. So I literally can do this before. And then I know I use like rival brands right now. So I, I apologize for anyone watching this. And then I use the Anastasia powder. That is chocolate. This is how much I've used it. I've had this for like four years and it has yet to run out on me. I usually use the dark side, but sometimes I combine the two and do a line in the middle. Why? I don't know. Sometimes I'm feeling risky. So naturally we have an eyebrow shape, right guys? So I start from the bottom and I go, and make one line all the way across. So this is how I do it. I was just about to do my eyebrows! I hate you! Wow, you guys, get yourself a boyfriend, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It'll be entertaining, they said. As I was saying! You're gonna do one line in the shape of your brow. So it's gonna go something like this. So one line underneath just like that. And then one line on the top, okay? And then I'm gonna color it in. And then I'm gonna do the other side. I 
I kind of messed up on this one. I went a little bit higher than I wanted to right here. So this is where the next part comes in. I use Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I used to use it under my eyes, but I stopped using concealer underneath my eyes only for the fact that I don't have bags underneath my eyes and I don't have dark circles. And so putting it on just created like creases in my under eyes just because I'm always squinting, I'm always smiling, I'm always doing a lot of facial expressions. Um, and it was just an unnecessary product that I didn't need. So if you guys wanna add concealer to this look, you can. I would've done it right after I did my foundation before I would've done the Fenty Puma um, highlighter stick. But in this case, I don't use it and I only use this to shape my brow and kind of clean it up after I do my brow makeup. So I go back to this pen. It's not a pen, this brush that is the like brow cleaner upper. And I do a little dab. Oh my God, I gotta stop saying that. So I put a little bit on, like literally a tiny bit because it's really like thick and heavy. <laughs> I literally just shape my brow underneath and then we'll put it, I won't go all the way from here. I'll probably start like right here and go down. So just watch. To blend it, after I get that line underneath, I'll blend it by going down with the rest of it. And if it's pretty light underneath your brow, it's fine because it kind of gives it like that highlight and it will really make them pop. So I don't fully blend it in, but I do blend the rest of it down. And I'll use the excess of it, excess. The excess, the excess. I don't know my words, guys. And then that's what I use for the top. So it's not like a whole lot on the top. And then I take this and I kind of just blend it right there. And boom, you have bound brows. Just like that. Next, after we do the brows, we have everything else all done. I then move on to my eyeshadow. <sighs> my favorite part. I really know nothing about eyeshadow. I do the same eyeshadow every day I do eyeshadow. Um, sometimes I just change the colors, but for the most part, they're somewhat similar. And in this case, I use ColourPop palette, and it's called a Golden State of Mind Shadow Palette. You open it up, I really like sparkly colors. For some reason, I just feel like it makes my eyes pop a little bit more. I like light colors like this, and then I also like goldish like colors like this bottom one. So I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs brush. This is the tip that it looks like. And I'm gonna start with covering my entire lid with this sparkly color. And this will be like your base. So I literally just do the entire lid this color. And here's a little trick for you guys. Having a lighter lid and then kind of doing the corners with a darker color will make your eyes pop a little bit more just because it'll be brighter right where your eyes are. So I usually use that trick, the entire lid light and sparkly. Use the same brush, I do, anyways. I'll do a little bit of this color. Oh wait, it's on the back. Okay, so this color that I used was called Golden Egg. And then this color that I'm using is called Tinker Time. So I'll do a little bit of that and I'll do inside the crease a little bit. I go inside the crease like that a couple times while blending it. It's so funny when people do makeup and I'm like watching myself do it and I'm like, like why is opening my mouth gonna do anything more for me? Like how is that gonna make me better? Like I just don't, oh, hell it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take this other Marc Jacobs brush. It's like a tiny, tiny one. It's for under your eyes. I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny bit of the darker color that I use and go right underneath the eyes, like right where my eyelashes are. Just a tiny bit. I don't like a lot underneath, but it just needs something so it's not completely naked underneath. Just do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Then I'm gonna go back to the brush that I used for like 10 different things, my highlighter, my contour, my banana powder, everything. Hit up the golden egg again, and I'm gonna highlight my brow on the very top. Just lock this, just lock this. I'm also gonna put it in the creases right here, and it'll also make your eyes just You guys know what I forgot? I can't believe I forgot this. Okay, so I'm so sorry, but I'm heading back to the ColourPop. I forgot to highlight one thing, which is right where my lip is. Right here, the top of your lip. I totally forgot to do that. So right now it's on your lip. That's perfectly fine. But it, all right there, you wanna highlight. For me, it makes it so my top lip looks a little bit bigger. Now that that's out of the way, so excited to get to this part. I get so many requests on what mascara that I used, okay? 
So I'm so excited to share with you guys my trick. It makes my eyelashes, eyelashes just completely look out of this world. I used to use Benefit, they're real. I don't know what kind of mascara these ones are. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it's like a urban fiber. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But anyways, that one ran out and Tarte sent me a massive box of mascaras. So to swap it out, I use, actually now, I use the Tartiest Tarte. And it's this one from Tarte. Okay, and so I use this one and I start, it's this kind of brush, you see. And I start on the outsides and work my way on the insides. And I actually really work my eyelashes. Like I don't just put it on. I start at the bottom and I squiggle all the way up, all the way up. And I am so OCD on my eyelashes just because they're super long. I don't like them when they touch. I want them straight up and I want them separated. So I like really work at them. I usually spend the most time on this. Trick, you guys, I had a girlfriend teach me this. Do not sit there and go like this to your brush. It actually dries it out. You wanna just put it in one time and bring it out. Does just the same. Going in and out with it will actually dry it out quicker and you won't be able to use it. Just a little life hack, guys. Now that they're all separated, I move on to the next one. So now that I have that, it doesn't end there, ladies and gentlemen. I use two mascaras. That is my ultimate trick, you guys. So I go in with that and I just kind of make them really long and separated. And then I go in with Too Faced It's Better Than Sex mascara. And I put this on top of my mascara. This gives it thickness and it adds a little bit more lengthiness to it. This one's actually a really wet uh, mascara, so I usually wipe off the excess um, stuff. And I put this on top of the mascara I just did. I literally put that on top. Now you have some crazy eyelashes. I also put them on my bottom, however, I have really long bottom eyelashes and my eyelashes rub on the bottom of my eyelid if I put too much mascara on them. So I personally have to wipe off some of it. So um, not all of you have to do this, but if you have um, eyelashes that rub along your eyelid, then I suggest doing it just so you don't have black eyelids because that's just not pretty. Now for the final product, and I swear by this product, lips, okay? I don't ever wear lipstick, ever. Like ever, ever, ever. But my key trick is to look like I'm wearing not to look like I'm wearing lipstick. It's to look like I'm not wearing lipstick, but still have big plump lips, right? Everyone wants that. So I use a lip liner, which is Urban Decay, and the color is Naked 2. Ultimate favorite lip liner ever. It literally matches the shade of my lip. And to use it right now, if I put it on, it would come off very matty and um, a darker color than what it naturally is. So I cover my lips and just your classic strawberry chapstick cover my lips right now literally we'll sit there for like 20 minutes just like i love chapstick you have no idea i really just go in hard with it and the cool thing about this chapstick is that it's red so i feel like it naturally gives your when you go in that many times it naturally gives your lips like a natural tint it naturally gives your lips a natural tint what am I even saying? And then I only use a lip liner. It's kind of glossy now, so I'll just go in and just line my lips with this. And then I'll kind of just blend it in. Just do a little bit on the lip. But you don't have to do a lot. I over align my lip with this just because it is the same color as my lip. It doesn't look like I'm over lining. It just looks like I have a natural big lip. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. My makeup look for those of you that tend to be on a little bit more of the greasier side like me i sometimes go in and finish it with the laura mercier translucent powder i swear by this it's amazing it kind of just sets your makeup and it also makes it so if you're a little bit greasier you don't really get greasy throughout the day it kind of just gives you a matte finish so i will take a little bit on my sponge and go where i highlighted a little bit some people cake their face with it is so do you speak I don't, I literally just use a tiny, tiny bit. A little bit on right here, where you get greasiest. A little bit down the nose, and then a little bit in the middle. And there you go, my ever die makeup tutorial. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this. Again, I just want to point out that I am in no way, shape or form a makeup artist. So if this works for you, I'm so happy. If it doesn't, it doesn't work for everyone. Also, you guys keep in mind that it took me over a year to perfect my own makeup. 
So if you guys don't do your brows just perfectly or don't do your contour just perfectly, it's fine. It takes a lot of practice. It took me literally over a year. Keep trying it and yeah, if you guys like this, let me know. Comment down below if you want to see more stuff like this. I have a full box of makeup from so many different brands that I'd love to test out. If you guys are interested in seeing them, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and tune in because I'm going to be starting to do a lot more videos like this. And yeah, I love you guys all. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Boy, bye. Keep on loving.